Hey guys, it's me, Millie, your host. In today's episode, we sit down with Isabel from Topic Bird. We talk about the new games she's developing, also virtual reality and art installation. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Are you comfortable? Um, Get comfortable. Okay. So we're a studio of two people developing um, games, mm -hmm. but also um, media arts pieces. So we're somewhere in between experimental games and media arts. So what games are you developing? So the first game that we released is called uh, Shiro and it's a puzzle game um, in which you separate uh, the sea from the sky. Oh, cool. So it's quite uh, abstract and mathematical. We will release uh, the second version of this game um, in two months. Okay. So that's still coming up but is pretty much finished. Yeah. And uh, we're currently waiting for the go for a new project which will um, play on an oil rig. More experimental, more uh, 3D as well. I'm sensing like an environmental theme yeah. <laughs> here. Yeah, of course, like the climate crisis plays a huge uh, role in how we conceptualize the game. Yeah. And so in the game, uh, crude oil will be sort of a game agent or like a character, and you will interact with crude oil on this oil rig, and cool. the oil will behave in a different way than we're usually used to. I also work in installations mm -hmm. and in the form of workshops. Um, so I also like to bring uh, playfulness into workshops and to situations where I work with people. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so you also create um, actual installations? Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Or performances as well. And in this work, um, inspired by jumping spiders, mm -hmm. Jasper and I developed a virtual reality suit. I'm wearing uh, four webcams. Mm -hmm. and the imagery that they record all the time is uh, cut together. So what I'm seeing yeah. is actually an uh, assemblage of different uh, gazes cut into ones. That's fascinating, yeah. Or here, so uh -huh. it's a little um, 3D printed thing you can put on top of your camera. Ah, okay. And then you can make, uh, like people who observe you online look through a toilet, for example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a point for that. Conceptually, I think I find uh, playfulness super important to also like, of course, in games, playfulness is like somehow the core, but also in real life, taking playfulness as sort of an attitude or way of engaging with um, the world or things. What sort of aspects of, of besides playfulness mm -hmm. and that you feel you could explore uh, better in the medium of a game versus an installation? What I really like about games is, especially smartphone games as well, that you can create such closeness with people because people are touching this thing all the time anyways. Um, and so you can really um, surprise them, but also people don't feel as uh, like restricted or skeptical of their phones. Besides sort of funding, which yeah. is an obvious challenge in uh, creating games in the game culture, um, what has been the biggest challenge for you? I think what uh, still surprises me is um, how much expertise game developers have to have, especially in, uh, I guess in every team, but also in small teams, yeah. that it's really everything from like development of course, but also marketing, but also knowing about legal issues. It's so multifaceted, right? Yeah. yeah. Is there any a game that you're dreaming about making that you haven't been able to make just because there's two of you? I think like the limitations are something we always have to consider. Mm -hmm. So for example, in the oil game, um, we won't have uh, characters as in human bodies in the game that are animated just because this would be, like it would cost so much time right? and it's just not feasible. Yeah. So I think it's not just um, the dream games that yeah sort of change, but also the games we make. That Currently creating, yeah. Yeah, but I think sometimes, because I like really abstract and artsy games as well, so yeah. it can also be kind of helpful to be limited in that regard. I hope you get the go for the career yeah, game, so that sounds awesome. And I hope to check out your game. Yeah, so, thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Want to see more? Well, you're in luck. There's more videos, so check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The good stuff doesn't end there. Find out more about Clang Games and Seed via the webpage www.clang-games.com. And also, make sure to check out our awesome podcast, The Life Cycle, available on all good podcast platforms.